So clarification uh, to the best of my knowledge about where his legal situation is. Ethan Ralph pled no contest to a criminal charge of unlawful dissemination of image of other in Virginia, which resulted in his conviction. Uh, he is not a registered sex offender, but he is a sex, uh, convicted sex offender. The mother of his child was the victim in that case. And because of other things that he said, she has a one way restraining order against him and injunctive relief prohibiting him from discussing, uh, faith vicars. He has visitation rights of once a month supervised when he must he must maintain anger management classes i think he has to be sober during visitation um and some other stipulations i can't quite remember he also has a two-way injunctive relief against matthew vickers the father of faith vickers his uh baby mama data which means that technically Ethan Ralph and Matthew Vickers should refrain from discussing each other in public and on the internet. Matthew Vickers really skirts this quite a bit. I, I, um, I thought for a while that it was one way because Matthew Vickers goes out of his way to provoke Ethan Ralph whenever possible, including um, leaking this information. I will read it because the court document is funny. <clears throat> but the reason why it's presented this way instead of in a nice tidy PDF with high quality images is that Matthew Vickers is an attention whore. Matthew Vickers is mentally ill. He is like 46 years old. He is an old man. He's the father of like five kids. Many of, I think all of them are adult children at this point. And despite this, he has the attention seeking personality traits of a 13 year old girl. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know why he's like this, but it's very obvious that Faith Vickers chose Ethan Ralph because him and her father are very, very similar personality wise. Matthew Vickers from day one has hated the Kiwi Farms because people have pointed out that Faith Vickers would not be such a stupid fucking whore if she did not have a stupid fucking father. And that stupid fucking father is Matthew Vickers. So he has never liked the forum. So instead of releasing documents in a way that's sensible so that he could get the most positive attention and support possible for his legal battles, he plays favorites. He has a entourage of supremely desperate F level E celebrities like the genius anus, a absolute nobody who will literally suck this old man's dick to show up on his bullshit podcast and read through these documents with him and to have first pick at this kind of information coming directly from Matthew Vickers. Because Matthew Vickers uh, desires clout on the internet more than he does anything else, including the welfare of his own children and granddaughter or grandson, apparently. It's the most perplexing thing possible. I have nothing but contempt for Matthew Vickers. I think that he's every bit as fucking disgusting and vile as uh, Ethan Ralph. And <clears throat> these streams that he does where he reads the deranged ramblings of Ethan Ralph remind me a lot of rape victim impact statements. At the end of a trial, when someone is found guilty, um, there is a sentencing hearing and the victims are allowed to give their peace to ask for a harsh sentence or a light sentence if they, if they believe that's appropriate. Um, and then the defendant is also allowed to ask for the mercy of the court and get a lenient sentence. So here we have Matthew Vickers and sure Ralph is fucked. Ralph is sitting there. He's been convicted of rape and he's fucked. And the question is now only how fucked is he? And sure Matthew Vickers gets to read his statement and say everything that he wants to say and Ethan Ralph can't stop him. But the reality is, is that nothing will unrape Matthew Vickers. Matthew Vickers had his family tree perpetually uh, in, 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 in perpetuity forever knotted with Ethan Ralph. He will never unfuck 
his his genes from Ethan Ralph. There is nothing that he can do short of smothering an infant to death to completely undo the damage that Ethan Ralph has wrought his life. And if he wants to sit there and play stupid fucking games like a child and play with deranged lunatics and retards on the internet to drip feed information so that I can't have a nice PDF and have to read screenshots off his bullshit stream, the good, the bad, and the vicious, the most boring goddamn thing that has ever been published on the internet ever. So be it. But keep in mind, Matthew Vickers, nothing you do will unrape you and will no nothing you do will make your grandson not related to Ethan Ralph. Go fuck yourself. So let us begin. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, Matthew Vickers filed a contempt of court motion. So if you don't know, they're not suing each other. They are, uh, they are in litigation. I think it's criminal. I'm actually not sure what the fuck the situation is, I think it's like a family court thing or a domestic violence thing, but Matthew Bickers filed a memorandum in support of holding Ethan Ralph in contempt of court. Ethan Ralph, and they did this through a lawyer, Ethan Ralph uh, has been provoked by Matthew Vickers on Twitter and elsewhere, and he believes that this is unfair. So he's going to file his own memorandum in support of holding Matthew Vickers in contempt of court. He has done this literally by no exaggeration of the truth, taking the filing that was made against him and switching the names around and changing a couple things by superimposing text over it so that it is effectively the, the, the exact same thing. It's literally the filing that, that Matthew Vickers' attorney made, but with the most you know obvious edits imaginable made. And then he just rambles in the in the deck the the evidence so this is attachment four from what i understand attachment four is actually the first attachment uh provided with this document i think that maybe the um the issue was is that he actually copied attachment four from the original filing and just kept it attachment four though that doesn't seem to be the case because the um the rule on the left hand side that seems to be from the original document was not maintained as he added new pages. So I think he just fucked up on the attachment on, on the indexing of this. Uh, but that's whatever. That's not the main issue here. The main issue is the insanity of the actual filing. So I will read this. Uh, I will not do my slow Ethan Ralph voice because we're not going to have time for that, but I'll read through it um, uh, as I do. Attachment number four. There hasn't been. There has not been one single day since we signed this mutual agreement that Matthew Vickers has not said my name. By our calculations, he has said my name, Twitter, or on his YouTube program at least 5,000 times. Probably much more. We stopped counting. Source, I made it the fuck up. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I do think that Matthew Vickers is obviously trying to provoke Ralph into violating his restraining order so that he can file bullshit against him in the most petty, you know, legal game imaginable. But he, like, he has a show where he talks about Ralph. I, I don't know how that's not... I'm not, like, a legal expert, but at least in the, the spirit of what the agreement was supposed to be, um, that would clearly violate it. Uh, but 5,000, like, again, you're writing a legal document. You're going to say, I, I estimate that he violated his restraining order about 60 trillion times. Um, the ADL's official number is 6 million times violated that restraining order. He has recently insinuated himself into my business. I am an internet, lowercase i, internet talk show host and started his own YouTube talk show. He often broadcasts documents from our legal proceedings live on his program, such as this one, I suppose. He took the custody agreement that I signed with his daughter and broadcast that to the world, even though we both, Faith and I, had signed that agreement, promising not to talk about it. He did this specifically to undermine my relationship with my son. He certainly doesn't seem to be very concerned with privacy either, does he? 
Mr. Vickers has tried to use the legal system as a battering ram as he disrespects every part of the order, spirit of the letter. On his show, just tonight, he addresses me directly and does a complete reenactment of one of the January hearings. Not only is it unconstitutional to stop me from responding to publicly false accusations, Vickers himself is also in no need of relief. He's turned these court proceedings into an... an absolute joke and tried to use them as a means to launch his YouTube career. He openly cackles with glee in the below statement as he describes how he will use the latest filing as fodder for his fledgling tabloid gossip show, said with no hint of irony or self-awareness at all. Uh, this is a DM from the Chudbuds leak. The Vicious Vicar says, uh, and, and this is, of course, my... my Vicious Vickers voice. The best kind of PR isn't public relations, it's public records. I made another PR request to the court for the stipulation and order between Faith and Ralph. Obviously, I have a copy from Faith, but it's public records, and I can talk about it all day long. They sent me all four pages with zero reactions. LOL. So on the 13th, we will resume Good, Bad, Vicious. We're going to go over it line by line. Ha, 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 ha. Um, so the issue is, is that this evidence, I mean, there, there's obviously lots of issues with this. I would not be surprised at all, depending on the court, if the judge actually did tell Vicar, probably not in a proper filing, but knock it the fuck off. <laughs> like, what are you doing? I can't, like, you know, because you the, authentic, the authenticity of this can be called into question. There's no way of, like, proving that it came from Vickers because it came from a hack and so on and so forth. There's lots of issues with it, but it's like, if I was a judge and I, I, I saw what you have, these people, they're not supposed to talk about each other because there's a child. There's a child being litigated over in, in a different proceeding. I would be really pissed off. If the the grandfather of the child was antagonizing the father of the child while the father and his daughter were having I if I was a family court judge I would be really pissed off about that um, as far as what possible outcomes could could come about as a result I don't know probably nothing but um, I, I it definitely is not it's not in good spirit <clears throat> Uh, Ralph continues in his filing, uh, and I apparently slip into the Ralph voice on accident now. There are at least six streams on his channel about this situation, including the one where he calls my recently dead mother, capital M, mother, but lowercase i, internet, a whore, says he's glad she's roasted in hell and does some sort of wake for her. He's talked about this online as well, my... Mother, capital M, tragically passed away 11 days before my son was born and two months before his Christian family cut off contact with my son, Alexander, and myself. Before that, I saw my son every single day to say my mother was a better per lowercase m mother now, was a better person than Matthew Bakers is like saying the sun rises in the morning. This is a court filing and he decides to include these um, poetic allegories. Of course... He did all this to bait me into responding online. He's trying to make money off my career. This entire order should be thrown out or he should be held in contempt for so blatantly violent it for such a petty and tacky cash grab. Uh, these are screen caps of tw Vickers. Now, from what I understand, the Vickers gambit is that because his Twitter is private and he's getting these tweets from the Kiwi Farms, um, that should, in theory, insulate him from claims that what he says is in public because it's a private timeline. Ha ha, isn't that funny? Uh, Vickers responds directly to Ralph in a, a quote retweet with a screen cap. Uh, this singular comment tells you everything you need to know about the dumb old dead horse Sandra Ralph and how she raised her precious baby boy. Uh, just so everybody is clear, Sandra Ralph is, dead old, is a dead old dumb whore who is burning in hell for unleashing a felonious convicted sex offender upon this earth. There is nothing illegal about the statement, nor does it violate any court order, unlike directing somebody to stalk. 
really push me there, buddy. Um, let's see. This seems to be out of order. Let me just make sure that that is how it's presented. It is. <clears throat> so I guess these were including in line, and then he continues below. Uh, and I can assure you that these are only a few recent examples. He never had any mind for us to go our separate ways. He simply wanted to muzzle me while he uses these legal filings, filings as fodder for his YouTube show. I honestly do not see how this can be allowed to stand at all, and I think the entire order should be thrown out. It's prior restraint against my free speech is clear in my view unconstitutional he's also now joined the ranks of my competitors i should not be barred from responding to him on any topic or in any manner how is that just one of my competitors who likes to support he likes to support is jonathan cog harrison who has attacked me in the streets literally in lisbon and filmed it for the world he still has outstanding charges there they reviewed the fight on his show. The whole thing is honestly a joke at this point, Your Honor. He literally writes that. What a meme. He writes it like he's speaking. The whole thing is honestly just a joke at this point, Your Honor. He's complaining about tweets while he supports and financially backs thugs who beat me in the street. He rhetorically attacked me daily. And when he has laid out his strategy in a private chat that was recently leaked, he wants me to sign away my parental rights. Um, <clears throat> this is another message from Vicious Vickers saying, no, it won't affect visitation, but this is a long game. Violating the order is considered contempt. Faith attorney has been waiting for this too. This is the kind of stuff I won't directly discuss on the show. Contempt comes from criminal slash civil punishments. The more he fucks up, the more he's going to have to hide in Mexico and miss visitations. The more visitations he misses, the less likely he is to get more. Eventually, he wears down and finds that his only escape is to sign off on Xander's adoption when Faith gets married. What an absolute piece of fucking shit. <laughs> I really hate him. Because Ralph has Ralph's excuse is that he's a big old dummy. He's a big old fucking idiot, and he's addicted to all sorts of shit. He's an alcoholic, and he's got mush brain, and he, he just can't help himself because he's so dumb. And then, uh, ooh, Kaldriff Golshberg says, BLM trans rights are human rights. I disagree. I disagree. Bye-bye. Um, meanwhile, v Vickers has no excuse. He's just a malicious dipshit. <laughs> he's not much smarter than Ralph, but he's a hell of a lot more malicious. And he's like thinking, oh, like, I'm going to play this the long game. I'm going to try to get petty revenge on Ethan Ralph after he gunted my daughter because I'm such a fuck up that my daughter's a stupid whore. <laughs> he also personally directed the man he had to file. He had to file a declaration on his behalf, Brian Gator Holloman, to, quote, pin a tweet in order to make me angry. This is in a direct violation of this order as he is directing another person to cause me supposed mental anguish like everyone else. I miss Gator Swift. <laughs> Ethan, you're so fucking stupid. What a win. Here's a chat log of, of Vickers violating his restraining order by directing a third party to do something to call me mental anguish. What does he do? I actually didn't see it, and it's supposed mental anguish because I don't actually care. I'm too cool for that. You had a win, buddy. You had a win. Just take it and go. And instead, what do you do? Actually, I don't give a fuck, and this shouldn't be considered as a violation at all because I'm just too cool to care. Yeah, I'm a crazy. Crazy. Um, Matthew Vickers himself confirmed the veracity of these logs himself earlier tonight on Twitter. Uh, Ralph is not mentioned. Contact not requested. Favor to post public information. No other context. Keep no violation. Keep trying. I mean, I guess that's his defense. I don't see that. I guess he didn't show the log. 
I guess Vickers probably cut out the log of the court filing because he didn't want to actually uh, discuss that at all. Ralph not mentioned, he says, no violations, except I am. He calls me Piggy as code. So Ralph officially submits to evidence in Nevada County, California public record that uh, he goes by the alias Piggy. Uh, and Matthew Vickers refers to him as, as his alias. Uh, you can see he has, he has me as a pig for his crazy Halloween decorations later on in this. In bold, care to do me a quick favor and post a screenshot of this tweet. His tweet was on private. He wanted to make sure I saw it. I wanted Piggy to get all raged up today. Okay, so that's what it, that's a quote. That's not him saying. He's saying make sure that this in regards to Gator doing Matthew Vickers bidding for him. Make sure that he's because his. <sighs> I feel, I honestly this makes me feel bad for Ralph. I don't even know how that's possible because the 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 components of demonstrating the violations from Vickers side are are there. I truly believe that. And if he um, could afford a lawyer, if he was competent enough to represent his own interests, I think that he he has a, a genuine good argument to make here. And unfortunately, he's just such a fuck up that there's no way that this is going to result in any kind of punitive action against Matthew Vickers because he's such an idiot. Oh, boy. That's him directly telling the third party to mess with me. He also called me falsely a convicted sex offender many times on Twitter. I pled no contest to a case that involved illegal dissemination of a consensual sex act. That is not a sex crime or a sex offense. It's a copyright dispute. I am in on no offense registry, and I won't be no matter how many times he repeats it. Uh, this is actually not true. Um, he was criminally convicted. He is not a registered sex offender, but registered and convicted are different things. And the um, section of the Virginia Penal Code where un unlawful dissemination of, uh, of images is the same code that has child pornography um, and other nasty stuff like that that's lewd and lascivious. So it's definitely like in the naughty the naughty section of the the penal code as opposed to the the cool and chad penal code sections about slinging dope and killing people um so that's just wrong uh this is so wrong that if he wasn't just stupid you could probably say that this is perjury but i think he is just stupid and he doesn't understand his own criminal conviction just last year, my wife sent an actual package to my house, which is another violation. I don't care that it was a gift for my daughter. We don't want anything from these people if it goes to trial. That's hard to say. If uh, Number one, his wife is not held by... That's stupid. Leave that out. <laughs> his wife sends his, his daughter a gift. That's not... You can't... No, that's stupid. That just muddies up the, the, the meat of what you're trying to say. Uh, we don't want anything to do... Anything from these people if that goes to trial, we have the proof it came from her address. They also bought a ticket to my live event in January. These people are actually stalking me and my family and hiding behind court orders to do it. And he's threatened to send stuff to my house again. I don't know if that's a reference to. Vicker said that I don't know what was waiting on me in Northern California, seemingly implying violence. He has fantasized about killing me on air and on Twitter. That would be a good thing to include in the evidence. If this goes to trial, that clip is out there and may be linked in earlier court papers, but he's talked about it since. I truly think he's an unstable influence on me and my family. I had hoped our agreement would make things better, but he's simply been using it to make it much worse. He wants to keep me out of Northern California. Isn't this textbook attempted parental alienation? I don't know, motherfucker. Do you want to uh, cite a statute and some case law to back that up? That's what you would usually do in this context if you had a lawyer. 
Uh, he's working hand in glove with his daughter. Is that, a, is that a real expression? He's working hand in glove with his daughter, and they've been leaking our private conversations. How am I supposed to have a relationship with my son with this going on? Um, Vicar says, yes, let's tell the Christian virgin until married, only one wife, to which he has been happily married for 25, 24 years, five children, no criminal record, who has zero legal control over Ralph, seeing his son to find God and be nice to the convicted sex offender. Okay. He will claim to you that his account is on private, which makes no difference whatsoever. Anything posted on a public forum, whether more private or not, <clears throat> is in fact public. How about case law to back that up? Uh, I believe this is established case law, but, <laughs> but I am not an expert. Woo, buddy. Woo, buddy. You don't want to say that. You don't want to say that. Doesn't really back it. <laughs> doesn't really support it at all. <laughs> Nonetheless, he interacts with bigger accounts and they spread his stuff around. This is a loophole that he uses to try and have another excuse to violate our agreement. The privacy is non-existent and simply a fig leaf for foul behavior. I like that expression, a fig leaf. I understand what that means. I could and will, if we need to, show you him interacting with hundreds of larger accounts and talking about me with them. Also, for many months and for certain periods, he's had that turned off. It's a completely fraudulent argument um he even put an effigy of my family up for halloween he has me as a pig my wife as a horse and my infant daughter on the stripper pole so this is vicious vickers posting a tweet saying neighbors driving by the most esoteric halloween yard scene ever it's not finished so there is a fold-out table and two folding chairs. Ethan Ralph is sitting there, uh, presumably because it's a pig skeleton. Then there's also a horse skeleton sitting next to him, and they're watching a stripper. Now, there are three ways you could take this. <clears throat> Number one, they, do, they probably do go to strip clubs together, because Ralph still does for whatever reason, even though he's married. Um, so it could just be a random horror. That's option A. Option B is that it could be Sandra, uh, who Vicious Vickers has described as a horror on multiple occasions. And considering the context, I believe that that's probably Vicious Vickers' intention there. Or C, it could be a one-year-old child, uh, according to Ethan Ralph. Uh, I, I really don't understand how he got to that conclusion um, but this is something you definitely want to leave out of your legal document because it's fucking retarded. And this is now, this skeleton is now in a public record. <clears throat> Ooh, name drop. He is also an active member of a site called Kiwi Farms. They have caused the suicides of at least four people. They have a section on their site dedicated to causing my demise, and Matthew Vickers has been on it many times. He's used his Twitter presence to radicalize them further, and this has led to a threat on my family's safety. I've literally left the country because of an outlandish and false hate because of the outlandish and false hate him and his daughter have stirred up against me. Thankfully, it's not too hard to get back and forth from Mexico, where I'm now an official resident. I was even driven out of my home by the band of psychos Vickers has falsely, have had falsely accused me of rape, swatting, and much more. My wife and I have been swatted more than anyone over the years. His wild lies are an offense to decency, but have been used since his order was signed. I have wanted to file against him, wishing he would just leave me be. Or leave me and my family alone, but it's clear he will not. I think the order should be either thrown out altogether as unconstitutional given his entry into my online talk show business, 
or he should be held in contempt. He's done much more, mind you, including leaking conversations in the chat about my son between me and my estranged former girlfriend. And I think I'm almost done. <laughs> this is how he signs off. You ready? Official court proceeding. Thank you, Your Honor, for reading all of this. I would certainly much rather have been working, but I finally have to file against this guy. This is how you sign off a blog post, Ethan. This is not how you sign off on a court document, but what do I know? I am not a lawyer. So there you go. Uh, Ethan Ralph is in court, uh, presumably litigating something related to Vickers or Faith, and I wish him the luck. I am... In regards to Matthew Vickers, I am on Ethan Ralph's side. I'm unironically a Ralph male. I hope Matthew... If Matthew Vickers gets slapped with the contempt, that would make me laugh out loud. I would piss myself laughing. Uh, so he's on his way, and he says, you better get ready then, because oh, now that he's figured out that he can just file pro se, he's thinking, wait a second, I don't need attorneys. I can just file pro se against whoever I want. He says, you better be ready then, old witch, because I'm going to be following this Disneyland Diller Adventures by the end of this week. He's not safe around children. I'm not going to mention, and I'm going to mention how certain parties allowed and encouraged it. Um, so this involves one of Faith's many weird stories about being molested. And he's accusing um, Matthew Bickers of pedophilia by proxy because uh, he permitted it or something. I'm not sure what the full gambit is here, but we'll find out in a court filing soon, I hope. Uh, Should have never went after my mom. Uh, flame emojis. I can stand the heat. And then quoting Matthew Vickers, he said, someone once said the best PR is public records. I like that one. Time to get to work. Have fun with that. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.